Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. A Missouri woman, Lisa Finley, was arrested for allegedly attempting to defraud Elvis Presley's family out of millions and the ownership of Graceland. The scheme involved creating fake documents and using false identities to claim that Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie, had used Graceland as collateral for an unpaid $3.8 million loan before her death. Findlay then attempted to extort $2.85 million from the Presley family, even publishing a fake foreclosure notice. The Justice Department traced multiple aliases and a fake lender back to Findlay, who now faces charges of mail fraud and aggravated identity theft. If convicted, she could face up to 20 years in prison. In other developments, a century-old rail lift bridge crossing the U.S.-Canada border near International Falls, Minnesota, and Fort Francis, Ontario, has collapsed, disrupting water traffic along the Rainy River. The incident did not involve trains or result in injuries. The cause of the collapse is still under investigation. The Canadian National Railway reported a release of biodegradable, non-toxic hydraulic oil, which has been contained by environmental crews. Repairs have started on the 1908 structure, known as the Rainy River Rail Lift Bridge, or the Five Mile Bridge, which allows river traffic to pass between Lake of the Woods and Rainy Lake. The timeline for reopening remains unclear. In another update, Gianfranco Torres Navarro, the alleged leader of the Peruvian gang Los Killers, was arrested by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement in Endicott, New York, during a targeted operation. Torres Navarro, 38, is wanted in Peru for 23 murders and entered the U.S. in May near Roma, Texas. His presence in the U.S. was flagged to authorities a month ago, leading to his apprehension. He is currently being held at a federal detention center in Batavia, New York. Thomas P. Brophy, director of enforcement and removal operations in Buffalo, emphasized that New York will not serve as a safe haven for dangerous non-citizens. No attorney was listed for Torres Navarro at the time of his arrest. In other news, ketamine, initially an FDA-approved anesthetic, is now also used off-label for treatment-resistant depression. Its fast-acting effects provide hope for those with severe depression, but its rise has led to concerns about safety and overuse. A version called esketamine, approved in 2019, is administered as a nasal spray in clinical settings. Despite its potential, ketamine carries significant risks, including addiction, increased blood pressure, and respiratory issues. The proliferation of ketamine clinics has raised alarms, with some experts warning against overpromising its benefits and emphasizing the need for careful medical oversight. The FDA has cautioned against unsupervised use, particularly outside clinical settings. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.